Welcome to I Speak Config tutorials from estherhost.com. We continue first steps and today we'll create a new website. To create new website we have to click on new site. We will be redirected to the form where we have to choose our customer or client and our hosting plan. If you have more clients than yourself, you have to choose which one. These are first steps, so there is no more clients, just myself. And hosting plans, you can use individual set settings or you can use prepared hosting plan. This will save you a time, as you will see, when I will click on Next. On the new form we have to choose title for our website. So this will be estherhost.com. Of course you will choose your own title. And next we have to choose which folder we will use to store our website. I like to have them all in sites. So I will choose sites. Over here on the left column you can see all the folders which are available. Okay. Next step is to go over settings server. It's server where is your hosting located. Hostname. Please leave over there www unless you're creating subdomain but this is not first step tutorial sub, uh, creating subdomains this will be in later tutorials right next we have to put a domain name and choose IP address IP address is assigned to you by your hosting provider. Please consult your emails or your contract. Next is DNS record. Please note that this option will work only if your domain points to name server specified by your hosting provider. Now I will show you that all these options below are selected. Space, traffic, maximum users, according to our hosting plan which was set in other tutorial. So, next step is to click user and email. Once we are on new user creating page. We have to click on new to create new user. Another form opened and we have to enter name of new user. If this is your own email you don't have to put there your name but you can. Uh, of course if this is email for somebody else is better to use real name of that person. So it's up to you if you will enter or not name of new user. Email address. I will create email address ISPC tutorials. ISPC stand of course for ISP config. ISPC tutorials at estherhost.com The next step would be to create username. Please note that usernames are only once allowed to be on the server. So I will use username tutorial and 
we will continue to password create some password and please select administrator if you want this user to be able to use FTP file transfer that's all we are going on advanced settings form you can do few things one of them is to create email forwarding Remember that if you want to use more email addresses for forwarding you have to put each email address to new line next please select mail scan if you want your emails to be scanned for spam and antivirus there is more options on this web page uh, you can browse through them and uh, select any of them if you would like but we will continue now to spam filter and antivirus settings so click on spam filter and antivirus on this form we will choose spam filter or select spam filter and next antivirus to make sure that our emails are clear select spam strategy you can accept spam to be able to check it out if this is a real spam or you can discard every spam or every email which is regarded as spam by your spam filter I choose always to accept and next is spam hit if you are on any mailing list make sure that you will use settings for 8.0 because otherwise most of your mailing lists messages would be filtered as a spam now we will scroll down you can use spam whitelist spam blacklist and next step is to click on save after you saved new user you redirect it back to front page of creating new website and from here we will continue to options on the options page we can create database if you knew that you will need database for your website you can create it by clicking on new database was created please write down database name and database user because you will need it when you will need to connect to this database with your programs or software on your website and of course what we need is to create a new password and click on save on main page and we have to go once more into options please change log size because 30 percent from say 50 megabytes is something like 15 megabytes and this is obviously too much so you can use one megabyte for your file log size and after we will scroll down as you can see over here you can create your own error pages uh, if you will put inside HTML 
but we will not do that now because this is not in first steps. Now we will click on save. And we are back on main page of control panel. I will click on expand and now you can see that under sites is new website esterhost.com and this was ISP config tutorial from esterhost.com